Hi, this is Shalaya with Scott Leroy Marketing, and I'm going to show you how to add new testimonials to the new command website. So we're going to start by going to the consumer tab in command, and that's going to be your last option on this left hand side here. Once our consumer page loads, we want to click on the edit my website button right in the center. So that's going to take us to our dashboard for our new website. So to add our testimonials, we want to go under the edit your website section and we want to go to the home page, which is right towards the center of this list here. So we'll go ahead and click on home page here. So once this loads for us, we have this list on the left-hand side. So we're gonna select option three for our future testimonials. So over here on the left is where we will make our changes and edits. And then here in the center is going to be a preview of what our changes look like before we save that and make it live. So everything here is our home page. So you'll see at the top, you have your hero images and your search, your featured properties. And then right below that, we have our featured testimonials here. So going back to the left over here, you do have the option to either display or hide. So if you wanted to hide your testimonials from your website, you can. Next, we have our title and description. For the title, there is default text in there that says future testimonials. However, you can put in your own text for the title if you prefer to use a different verbiage there. For the description, this is going to be like a subtitle for the section, which will display under the title. So if we were to type in this box here, we can see what that looks like in our preview here in the center once that updates. So there is our description text right under that title there. Below that, we have item stream. So here we have the option for either dynamic or basic. So the difference with this is with dynamic, you have the option to select a sorting option. You can select how many you would like to display. And you'll see right above this text box, you have the option between one and nine. And you also have filtering options. So you can choose to filter certain testimonials from showing on your site. So under filters, you have all match, any match. You can filter cities, star ratings, state, and zip code. So quite a few filtering options there. And then down below that is where you can add your testimonials. So you'll see this little plus symbol here. So if we click on that, so that's going to give us a list of testimonials that have already been added or captured. And then all the way at the top, you also have the option to create new testimonials, which is where you can manually add testimonials to your site. So if we were to select these from the list here, that will add our other testimonials. And then if you look to the right of these, there's these lines with these arrows. So if we click and drag these, that gives us the option to manually reorder the way our testimonials look on our site. So if you want them to show up in a certain order, you can do that by just simply rearranging them here. When a client leaves a new testimonial on your website, you should be able to locate that within this list here. If you are wondering where your testimonials went from your old command site, you can still find those. However, at this time, they do need to be manually added to your new site. So to do that, if we go to our command tab up here, so I'm going to go to the top of the browser and click back over to command. So that brings us back to our consumer page. So you'll see at the top next to my website, there's an option for testimonials here. 
So this is where all of our previous testimonials are currently housed. So if we click over to here, we will be able to see a list of all our testimonials. You can see the submission date, the client name, the client sense date, as well as the review and the star rating. If any of the text is long and cut off here like that, if you click the three dots over to the right, you do have the option to view full review here. So now we can go ahead and select one of these to add. So we'll go back over to our website here. And then we'll go ahead and click on that little plus symbol again. And then we're going to click on create new here at the top. So this is going to be our form where we can manually add our testimonials in. So you have the option to select the star rating. And then your testimonial text box where that review is gonna go. So we can go back over to our command tab here at the top. And then we can simply copy our review, right click and copy. And then go back over to our website builder and then right in that text box, right click and paste. And that will add our review in there. Down below that, we have our text boxes for first name and last name. So again, you can grab that right from your command testimonials over here. So we have first name and last name here. So you can either copy and paste these or you can manually type them in, whatever is easier for you. If you want to copy and paste, you can just simply highlight the name, right click and copy, and then paste that in here by right click and paste. Same thing with last name, you can go back and copy it and paste it, or you can just type it out yourself. Below that, we have the client since date. So here we can see client since 2017. Now, if we go back over to our website to add that in and we click on this calendar here, you will see that it does make you choose a specific month and day. We'll go ahead and change our year up here to 2017. And we will just select a time in here. Now, if your testimonial was captured on during the time they were a client, then you can use the submission date here if you're not sure what date to enter into that box. So below that, you also have the options for city, state, zip code, country, and all that location information. You'll see that you do not have that information in these reviews. So that is not required on this form. So if you can't find that information, you're not sure of what it is, you don't need to worry about it if you are manually moving those over. The only thing that is required is your star rating, your review, and then the name information and client date. The rest of this is optional here. So once we have that filled in, we can click on publish in the top right. And then you should get this green banner stating that it was published. So now we can go to the top left and click on this back button here. And now if we were to click on that plus symbol again, we should be able to select that new testimonial right from that list here. And again, if you want to reorder these, you can simply click and drag them. If you want to delete, you can simply click on this red line right in the center of these options here, and that will remove them. So this should update here on our right side since we just reordered those. And then once you are finished making changes to this, you can simply click on save in the top right 
and that will go ahead and save your changes. If you're wondering how to let your clients know how to leave a testimonial on your new site, if we go back to our site dashboard, we can access our site by clicking on the link right here at the top. So when a client is on your website, they can click on the more button or even just hover over it all the way to the top right here. And then they will have the option for leave a review. So we can go ahead and click on that. So here is the review form. Now, when your clients are filling this out live on your site, it does require a location to be put in unlike the manual form. So we'll go ahead and do a test submission here. So as you start typing your location in, it does give suggestions for you. And then we have our client since you're here, as well as the review. And then below that you have your star ratings and then the submit button. So once all of those required fields are filled in, it will give you the option to submit that testimonial. So then they should get a confirmation that it was submitted. So if we go back to our dashboard up here and we go back to that home page. So I'm going to go back to the bottom and click on home page here. And so because we went off of this and did not save our changes, you will see at the top that it restored our work in progress because we didn't save it, but we also didn't lose it unless we click clear changes here. So if you accidentally click off of your page, you don't have to worry about losing anything. So now we can go back down to testimonials and our new testimonial will be listed there. If you have any questions about this process or run into any problems, you can reach out to us anytime at support at scottleroymarketing.com.